I don't know about you, but uh, I dig crazy chicks. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the figure complex amazing Yamaguchi, Harley Quinn. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging, as you can see here. In the background, we have some nice artwork there of Harley. You also have some more artwork in the, uh, the inner uh, insert itself. You got Harley right there, amazing Yamaguchi, powered by Revel Tech. Harley Quinn, sculpted by Yamaguchi Kat Katsuhisa. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, sir. DC, on this side, you have Harley. On the other side, you have Harley. On the top, Harley. On the bottom, Harley and her pudding. Now on the back of the box, you get some obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things, stuff, stuff, and things, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Harley Quinn. And um, it's funny because I've, I've had this figure for over a month now. I've had this sitting around the house for quite a while now. Um, and I couldn't get to it because I was doing the Masters of the Universe stuff. I wanted to get through that first before I got to Harley. And it's just kind of funny because um, I'm finally getting to this figure right after Birds of Prey um, came out in theaters. So, hey, kind of a happy coincidence. <laughs> but here we have Harley Quinn. This is a pretty cool figure powered by Revel Tech, by the way. But let's get in close. This. We're gonna, no, not eyes up here. Eyes up here. Here we go. Let's take a look. At that head sculpt, the very nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. Nice bright blue there for the eyes, the red and black hair. Get the pigtails going on, get some very nice sculpting. Got a little collar there, done in black and silver. Shoulder pads, done in red and black with some silver as well. You got her top, again, done in red and black. A whole lot of red and black going on, that's why I like this figure too. Got the belts, done in silver. See a little pouch there on the back. That's the Harley booty. And moving down the legs. She has some thick thighs too. Like she did not, uh, Harley doesn't skip leg day apparently. You can see a little diamond pattern there for Harley. Star. Again, got the knee pads going on. And the boots. Again, nicely detailed. A lot of nice detail, a nice sculpting here. Even the bottoms of the boots are nicely molded. And moving up the back, let's see. Got the uh, elbow pads going on there. Oh no. Pretty nice looking figure in my opinion. Now articulation wise, a lot of articulation here. Uh, the head itself, the top of the head uh, is on a ball joint. So you have all your wiggly waggly. The base of the neck is on a ball joint as well. So you have lots of wiggly waggly there. So she can look all the way up. She can look pretty much all the way down. Head can do all kinds of rotation. Uh, even her pigtails are on joints. So you can rotate them. Move them up and down, depending on how you have those joints oriented, you can pretty much have the pigtails going in whatever direction you want. Um, the arms can rotate, they can do a full 360, they can move in and out. You do have rotation right up there as well. Elbow joint, you have a pretty, almost a full bend there at the elbow. The wrists can rotate, they can also move in and out. Again, depending on how you have that joint oriented, you kind of have the hands going in whatever direction you want. Uh, you do have an upper torso joint here on a ball joint, so you have all your wiggly waggly, rotation, crunchage, and also the waist itself on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly, rotation, crunchage, all that good stuff, and as you can see, the belt is a separate piece. Legs can move forward that far, she can do them high kicks, back that far, outward, you can Get them, whoops, no, if you go too far, you're going to pop her legs off. But that word, you get out about that far. Uh, you do have rotation right up there. You do have rotation at the thigh itself right here where the stockings stop. Knees, you get a nice full range of movement there at the knees. And you also have rotation as well. You also have rotation right down here as well. You see there's a ball joint in there. You have rotation. All the rotation you need. Feet can move up, they can move down, they can rotate, and you have your ankle tiltage. 
So now let's run through the accessories. You do get quite a bit of accessories here. The first thing you get is the uh, display stand. It's sealed in the bag and I'm not taking it out because I don't use the stands and I have my own stands anyway. But uh, you can see you have the, uh, the poseable arm there. You can plug it into any of the points here. On the base itself, you have the little claw to hold her in place. And you also get some extra pegs in case you break any, which is always nice. So you get that. You also get a bunch of extra hands here. You get a... Uh, little pointing hand here as well as a thumbs up you get a pair of weapon holding hands and you get a pair of these kind of like splayed out hey hands that's what i call them the hey hands but there you go and you get a pair of those also as far as weaponry goes she does include her baseball bats Let's see, pretty simple not a whole lot to it it's a baseball bat and she also has her mallet which looks pretty cool pretty nice paintwork going on there so you get that you also get a pair of uh roller skates for her which again are very nicely painted and sculpted so you get a pair of those and you also get uh an effects part here a uh uh, a, a, a boofsh. <laughs> a boofsh. I should say bloosh, but whatever. <laughs> it's, a, it's a boofsh. And we'll show off how all this works in a little bit. You get two other uh, accessories, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But now to show off how all of this works, uh, as far as the uh, skates go, you just kind of wiggle her feet off the peg here. Then you take the skate and just kind of wiggle that back on. And while uh, she has her skate on, we'll put the other one on real quick. And there she goes. She can do some roller derbying now. And of course, we can give her her weapons. We can give her a bat here. And uh, we do have to pull this apart to put this in her hand. And uh, we'll just take this and just feed it through. And this is pretty snug there. There we go. Let me just pop the top on. There you go. And the hands are easy to swap again. Just... Give them a little twist and turn, wiggle, 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 and pop them out, and then just pop the new hand on, which can be a little bit of a chore, seeing it's on a hinge that moves, but it's it's doable. There we go. There she is, and she has her bats, and as far as the, uh, the mallet goes, this just goes straight into her hand. Like so, and we'll just swap this real quick. And there you go, she has her weapons ready to go. And uh, for the effects part here, for the uh, for, for the boofsh, what you do here is there's this little post here you flip out. And you can plug this on either the mallet or the bat, but it just plugs in right there. And there you go, and she can, she can boofsh, she can boofsh somebody. She can, <laughs> she can boofsh somebody with the bat, or you could plug it into the mallet air, like that, and she can, she can, she can boof somebody with her mallet, just boof, 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 hey, all things, all things you can do, if you want to do them, boof, and the last accessories that are included are optional faces, now the one that's on her, right now, it's just kind of a neutral face, but you do also get a, uh, a smiling face, for her and you also get a uh, ah face <laughs> kind of a startled face love the eyeshadow whoever did her makeup it just did a great job <laughs> but you get those optional faces and to swap out the faces is pretty easy you just have to remove uh, the front part of her hair here and then you just remove her face and ah and that's just as always terrifying now one thing that's really cool in all three of the faces have it is they do have posable eyes and to move the eyes around you have to use this little tool that they give you and this little post here you can see it goes into the port right here in the eye itself and that's how you can move the eyes around and you can have her looking anywhere you want you can have her you know cross-eyed and do whatever you want to do so you can have her looking in any direction you want which is pretty cool and again all three of the faces you can do that with and you just plug the new face on with the greatest of ease and then pop her hair back on 
and voila, you can change your expressions however you wish, or, you know, we can take this off and we can just have her all, you know, startled and... No, Mr. J! Mr. J! You can have that going on. Hey, all things, all things you can do if you want to do them. Now, as far as scale goes, uh, this figure does stand at about five and three quarter inches tall. And uh, for further sense of scale here, here it is with an SH figure art. And here it is with Marvel Legends uh, Black Widow. So, there you go. So there you have Harley Quinn. And uh, one quick thing I forgot to mention in the uh, articulation part. Hey, look, she has, she, she has toe joints. Yay, toe joints. But anyway. Really cool figure in my opinion, nice paintwork, nice sculpting. It looks good, really poseable, just a nice, playable, poseable action figure here. So yeah, I like it, I like it very much. So there you go. Now if you would like this figure, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the figure complex amazing Yamaguchi Harley Quinn. And this is Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello there. You, uh, you must be new around here. I'm Steve. Steve Rogers. I'm an Avenger. Tell you what, how about I uh, take you out sometime and you can see America's butt up close. Ah! Okay. I may have come on too strong.